Hello and welcome to Coaching with AD. Well, my name is Arun Thukral and I am a life and a leadership coach. And I help people to lead a successful life in whatever they love to do and they love to have. Well, friends, today I am going to talk about something which is very, very important and that is self-confidence and your own mind. Because whatever we do, if we have confidence, we can make lot many things easier and if it is not it is exactly going to be opposite well let me come straight to the point i hope you would have seen the movie laksha in which rithik roshan playing the role of lieutenant shergill where wherein how he hacks into his unconscious mind and transform himself from a casual college student to an outstanding achiever an awesome professional by the time he finishes his academy and of course by the end of the movie can we have this in our real life also is it possible that we we think that can we make those changes in our life as well and can transform our, or can transform our life maybe you have thought about it many times but got stuck somewhere maybe you wanted to make some changes but you are not sure when to start maybe you are delaying things maybe because of lack of motivation what do you think why you have been stuck so far why it happens why do we miss out in becoming lieutenant shergill in our life and then why do we get stuck very often well friends to my mind the basic reason is lack of self confidence lack of self esteem in us and that is how we underestimate our own potential we don't utilize our energy to get into this so today i will help you to win over your self confidence but for that first you need to understand about your mind your how your mind works and so i hope you would have understood the story now let's understand our mind because once we understand our mind we can create so many things out of this that can help us to achieve anything that we want so let me first share with you the structure of mind now if you look at this as a pyramid and if you break this into three parts the top part is 10% is your conscious mind the bottom part which is close to 30 to 40% is your subconscious mind and the bottom part which is again 40 to 50 percent is your unconscious mind. Now let us understand that what is conscious, what is subconscious, and what is conscious mind. So whatever I am speaking to you right now, and that you are listening to me, is based on your conscious mind because you are storing the information, you are receiving the information, whatever I am telling you. After this, maybe you go to go and meet somebody else. You will pay attention to that person, or you listen to something. that is again your conscious mind will be active so once your conscious mind receives the information it sends it down to your subconscious mind now subconscious mind is something uh, if i ask you okay tell me uh, where were you yesterday in the afternoon at 2 pm or what was the shirt that you were color of the shirt that you were wearing uh, yesterday so you have to take some effort but you will be able to grasp that information and that is what we call it as subconscious mind but then what is unconscious mind so unconscious mind is all the learnings all the experiences all the memories right from the time that you got the consciousness in your childhood age until the time you die it all goes and settle down and settle down deep inside you in your unconscious part of your brain so whatever you learn consciously it move into subconscious and finally into unconscious so you don't have uh full access to those information until you need us until you get a support from a coach or somebody who can help you to reach out to your unconscious mind to get and retrieve those informations so let me give you an example if you are driving a car or a vehicle why do you put a brake from where it comes it comes from your unconscious mind so whatever information so if you meet somebody let's say you are listening to me and while listening to me you are hearing me 
there is something inside you that is telling you that okay this person is good or this person is not good this is all your unconscious mind that is working out and giving you that answers and this is what happens when you meet a stranger for the first time now what is the function of your unconscious mind the function of your unconscious mind is to protect you it is meant to help you to do things in a right way so if you want to take any risk something that you want to do out of your routine because your conscious mind is always looking forward that how you can go forward and achieve certain things but then there is something inside you that stops you and that is your unconscious mind now it depends on what power that you are using inside if you are using the negative part of your unconscious mind repeatedly you will find that you are failing very often but at the same time when you are using the positive learnings the positive experiences of your life you will see that you are able to achieve much more things and friends that is how we form patterns in our life and these and because your mind doesn't understand because whatever you learn whatever you gain in your experiences in your learnings in your attitudes they all go and sit inside you it is not in your hand because the mind cannot differentiate between good or bad now how you utilize that is in your hand yeah so now that you have understood about your mind and the power that it holds now i am going to tell you three important secrets now these three important secrets can help you to raise your confidence level to a very high level because you need to now train your mind and tell your mind these three important secrets every time you are facing a problem of self confidence now if you practice it you will be able to do it and i want you to now pay full attention and listen to this the number one secret is rate your self esteem meter i repeat rate your self esteem meter what you need to do is you need you simply need to take a pen and a paper and you start writing down the following answers to the questions that i am going to ask you the question number 1 is i am really good at so start writing the points that what are you really good at is it negotiation is it uh, solving problems whatever you are good at you need to write down second i find it easy to what is it that is very easy in your life what is it that you do naturally where you don't have to take an effort like talking to stranger for me is very easy and simple like going to new places makes me comfortable number 3 i find it difficult to write down that what are those points where you are facing difficulty maybe uh, addressing a gathering of more than 20 people 30 people or meeting high profile people then next question is write down i like write down and list down all the reasons where you need to highlight i like similarly write down i hate so list down all the things that i hate and lastly one of the very important part is i have been praised for now if you are able to write this what you are praised for you are actually training your mind very clearly that what are you good at and what are you not good at and if you focus on those areas where you are really good at you will be able to find those areas where you gain confidence from because that is your strength areas and also you all uh, understand your areas of weakness so this is secret number 1 that you need to rate your self esteem meter the secret number 2 is what do you tell to yourself particularly when you are in crisis or when the situations are not good are you the worst critic of yourself how do you talk to yourself do you really put yourself under a lot of pressure now think about it what would you tell others in the same situation i'm sure when you talk to others you become very soft and you make them understand that how situations can be done better now even if you want to understand this further write it down in words what exactly you want them to know about it now the way you explain this to others that how they need to behave how they need to come out in a difficult situation say this to yourself as well because your mind also need that attention your mind also need that kind of comfort that it can understand and accept the situation and the challenge 
and think about it. How do you feel? Because once you are able to talk to yourself in a very polite and comfortable manner, your mind will start accepting those things. And these are some of the important things that helps us to raise our bar, that helps us to raise our self-esteem. So the third secret is, and I think this is one of the most important is called being found out. Ask yourself honestly, what is it that I don't want people to know? See, we all have some weakness, some areas where we know that only we know that we are not capable of. And we are the most highly critics of our own self. So what is it that we don't want people to know? Now, people who feel unworthy about themselves are the one who keep underestimating about their own potential. Now, at this point of time, you need to look at people who are working with lesser resources, who are working with in, in lower wages. Now, these are the people may not be very high in their capabilities, but they are very high in their happiness, in their contentment, in their satisfaction. So more than abilities, it is the satisfaction that can help you to raise your self-esteem. So at this point of time, you need to ask a question to yourself. What stops me from feeling good? What would happen if I feel good about myself? Now, if you ask these questions, you are actually training your mind to think from your unconscious part to bring out those feelings where you have been doing good job or you were satisfied or that gives you more satisfaction in the work that you do. The more frequently you work on this part, you would realize that your mind is getting trained and your self-confidence is gaining up because satisfaction and contentment are coming directly in your mind and in your body. Well, friends, today what we have learned is that being successful, to be successful, you need to have a very high self-confidence. If your confidence is low, you are bound to fail many times. In fact, you will not be able to participate in many bigger things that are waiting to happen in your life. So feel more confident and to be confident, you need to train your mind. Once you know what part of your mind needs to be trained, you will understand that how your unconscious mind can transform you from an average person to an outstanding person. In fact, when I watched this movie very recently again, I realized that there was that spark in Lieutenant Shergill that transformed his life completely. And that made him successful. And that triggered my mind again, that how I can always work on training my unconscious mind in bringing those feelings that can help me to generate and upgrade my confidence to the highest level, to the peak level every time when I want to achieve something in my life. Friends, I'm sure this is going to help you practice it and you will be able to perfect it as you keep doing it and repeating these secrets in your life on day to day basis. And I would look forward to listen to your feedbacks, your comments on my coaching with AD by subscribing this channel and putting your comments on it. Thanks for watching and I will come back to you with something more special about how to transform your life to make it more successful in what you love to do and what you love to have. Thanks for watching.